really don't understand after yesterday Carabao Cup final why Pochettino is not yet sacked or why is he not in the contention of getting sacked I really don't understand I really don't understand he should be sacked in the tunnel after yesterday's performance we have lost to under 21 and under 18s of Liverpool team and he's talking about there is no comparison between Chelsea and Liverpool you cannot compare Chelsea and Liverpool because Chelsea are an inexperienced side and they're a young squad it seems so it's impossible to compare Liverpool is having a very experienced squad and experienced manager so it's impossible to compare so yesterday uh, 9 of the 11 main starting 11 players except Van Dijk and Konate all of them were absent no Salah no Shoboslai no Jota uh, uh, then uh, no Allison, no Trent Alexander Arnold, and no Nunes. Nobody was there. Full under 21 and under 18 players were playing. U teams were playing. C team, D team was playing. Liverpool C team, D team was playing. And they look better than us. So why is it impossible to compare? Look at how Endo was playing, and look how Mc McAllister was playing. Especially Endo. Look at how Endo was playing. He was playing much better and much sharper than what uh, Kaiserdo and that Enzo was playing especially in the first half so why w w only excuses after excuses after excuses after excuses after excuses no results you are getting only excuses after excuses and means he's just giving excuses after excuses and deterioration after deterioration after deterioration and bullshit after bullshit we are hearing that's it no improvement no progressiveness nothing we are just moving one step forward, 100 step backwards, that's it. This is a 100 step backward movement, man. Yesterday, again, losing against Liverpool, C team, D team, under 21 and under 18 team was a 100 step backwards. Whatever progressiveness we made against Manchester City, one step forward, all everything down the drains and down the garbage, that's it. Five easy clear cut chances we have got, especially Gallagher got three easy clear cut chances. He's playing in week in and week out and we have only one match per uh, week. Still, we are not able to get the results. So, where this Pochettino is making the difference, he's making no difference at all. We have deteriorated under him. So, get this manager out. Please sack this manager. Then only some improvement will happen. And he's giving excuses after excuses after excuses and he's saying that, oh, we played for the penalty, it seems. So, if you played for the penalty, you have a loser mindset. You should be sacked immediately. Because end of 90 minutes, Chelsea was... Having an upper edge, then Klopp has fielded uh, six substitutions. Klopp has made all were under 18 and under 21 unknown players were there. So if you want to play, uh, if you are playing Liverpool C team and D team, and if you look to if you look to play for the penalties after bringing in Nkunku, uh, then uh, Mudrik, 80 million Mudrik, it seems bullshit nonsense, utter crap player. One of the worst signings ever in the history of the Chelsea Football Club, in the universe of the Premier League, of the nonsense of the history of the club that Mudrik is assigning. Seriously, if you are bringing in Mudrik, Matueke, Nkunku and you are bringing in Chalopa, if you are bringing in main set of players and if you are ex expecting to go to the penalties and not fit, uh, getting the job done in the 30 minutes, so I think it's better to get lost from the club, that's it. And he's saying that players were tired, it seems. Gallagher was very tired and Chilwell was really, really, really tired, it seems. So, I don't understand why the players are getting tired they are playing only one game a week what are you doing in that one game a week no results you are getting only excuses after excuses we are getting and on top of that Liverpool in the midweek Wednesday night they have played against Luton Town they have played same squad has played against Luton Town they have played Luton, Futon, Guton they have played and they have won that match also comprehensively and still they look sharper and much more awareness this was a golden opportunity for us Liverpool had no options whatsoever man Liverpool were on the back foot they were 9 players injured and they were having lack of options, no options in the bench. Really, and even Grafenberg got injured in the middle of the match. So what else we need, man? What else excuses we need? So if you cannot compare Chelsea team with uh, Liverpool uh, C team and D team, if you are losing and you are saying that it's impossible to compare, I think you should better leave, that's it. We, do, we don't have the patience and we don't have the time to listen to this crap and nonsense and bullshit. Get this manager out, he's a loser. He's a loser mentality manager, that's it. He's not a progressive manager, he's not a proper manager. He's a loser mentality defensive manager and he's a safeguarding manager, that's it. He'll protect him, his ass first and then he'll blame everything on the players and blame everything on the fate and blame everything on the luck and blame everything. And after losing against Liverpool C team, D team, instead of blaming the players and instead of blaming his tactics and instead of blaming the um, his managing skills he's telling that i'm very proud of the team i'm very proud of the players achievement and efforts and everything bullshit bullshit it's an insult to chelsea football club man you're saying if you're proud of this performance and if you're proud of us losing then i think it's an insult 
you are not a chelsea manager you are a tottenham undercover manager so that's why you are proud i think after chelsea losing the carabao cup final and they cannot reach europe in the next decade i think under you if they are playing under you then they cannot reach the european stage under you in a decade if they are playing under you so get lost and you should be out of england itself and you should not get any job in the future graham potter also got no job after uh, managing chelsea you also will get zero job after getting sacked by chelsea and you should be sacked immediately enough is enough enough is enough and he's saying that we should trust the process we should build a formidable team and everything the players need time and all we got enough of time this carabao cup was a do or die and the last piece of dice in reaching the european stage at least in the conference league it was a last roll of dice you have not done it and this tot boli asol is completely trusting you i don't know why is he trusting you why the director of this club are trusting you okay two years have gone by we have not won a single silverware this was a golden opportunity to win the silverware so two years under tot boli's leadership we are going to finish without any trophy this is happening since 2003 so 21 years have passed and this history has been created and we have lost six cup finals at wembley so that you leave it that you leave it since cup finals it's okay that means uh, that, that 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 one at least we had champions league to back up then we at least had some uh, uh, premier league to back up and some finals two finals we have lost in the penalties so penalties at least that is 50 50 chance there i can give if yesterday match would have gone in the penalties there at least we can give a benefit of the doubt but here in the 30 minutes you are not even playing man you are not even giving efforts in the 30 minutes we got absolutely outdated and outclassed by the liverpool under 18 and under 21 team man we are playing full defensive football and we are saying giving excuses that the players are tired galaga got tired and chilwell got tired it seems what tired liverpool then why what is your training methods that the players are getting tired bullshit all excuses after excuses and your substitutions everything has been horrendous this season all the substitution nkunku was a complete disaster yesterday madueke is a utter crap then this uh, mutrik is a disgrace to the power of the infinity of the history of the universe of the chelsea football club like why is he bought for what is his role what is his position god only knows what he does really i don't understand and he's uh, this mutrik is such a pathetic uh, even as a human being also is a pathetic human being actually you know what he's doing after getting complete failure he's challenging uh, fans when fans are criticizing him on social media and giving the feedback he's saying that why don't you come and play one on one with me and play for some 100 dollars or 200 dollars you better stick that 200 dollars and take a bloody flight from london to ukraine and get the fuck out of chelsea man that's it we don't want one on one and all one on one we, i will come and send you back from london to bloody ukraine that's it we don't want to play football here if you you are you are getting salary for uh, playing the football on the pitch over here you get out that's it if you cannot do that get out stop challenging the fans and everything waste waste of idiot that's it this bloody uh, mutri then another one was that chaloba he is a center back he is playing right back then he play, played that gusto as a left back means complete dilemma disaster that's it means the potchino seven months have passed by he doesn't even know what is his squad what is his strength which player plays which position which players can come and as a best substitutions he doesn't know anything that's it so this is our manager's condition he doesn't even the uh, he doesn't even know the full squad itself and he's saying that it's time 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 so in seven months if you don't know the full squad and if you don't know the squad depth and everything seven months not seven days a manager especially at this high competitive level of football and management and everything within 7 days the manager should know the whole squad a b c d e f g to z should know the a b c d e f g z of uh, the squad and the squad depth and the substitutions and everything within 7 days and you bloody have given 7 months still you don't know who, what is a full strength squad and everything and what is your excuse now man you had nkunku nkunku has come back and you are you are saying that nkunku was the main part of the puzzle and nkunku now now is not even starting Enkunku now is not even starting. Means pre-season, he said bloody he's saying that Enkunku was missing. That's why we are not uh, participating, and Enkunku was the main part of our plan. Now Enkunku doesn't even start games. So this is his bloody plan and bloody process and bloody uh, time. So get this manager out. He doesn't have any plan. He doesn't have any uh, skills. He doesn't even have any um, what to say. Uh, uh, game management and his substitutions are all utter crap so get this manager out that's it i don't want to hear any bullshit only excuses after excuses after excuses we are going half step forward and 200 step backwards under this manager get jose mourinho in or get thomas tuchel in at the end of summer that's it 
they only can save this club or else this club is gone down the drains and gone down the dustbin that's it two years Todd Bowley has came in and he destroyed the club and two years we are finishing without any silverware this was a golden opportunity seriously more than Liverpool Liverpool anyway will finish top 4 they'll go to the European Champions League next season top 4 though definitely they'll finish if they don't win the league title top 4 though definitely they'll finish so we it was desperate for us to go to the European uh, Conference League at least to play in the Europe this Carabao Cup was very much important for Chelsea Football Club for us it was very much important and yet he bottled it and he has absolutely horrendous tactics in the extra time he has completely uh, uh, disbelieved the strength of our players and he has completely didn't even trust the skills of our players man and he completely that Gallagher three chances he has got at least one he should score na, yaar. one he should bloody score nothing he has done Nothing, absolutely. If he, if Thomas Tuchel was there or Mourinho was there, after that one is to one chance, Mourinho would have told Gallagher, come out, man, and brought in another player. That's a tactician and that's called progressiveness. If you miss such a bizarre chances, no manager should have any forgiveness and should take you out immediately. That is the difference between a proper manager and this fraud, idiot, Pochettino asshole. Get this manager out!